Good morning, everyone. It's Laura T. Dream Deals 123 on eBay. And I'm the Silver Owl Thrifter on YouTube. I'm going to talk about what sold last night. Break it down, how much was profit. And then I think I'll do a little haul video at the end. Because I went out thrifting yesterday. Made $110 overnight. Let's break it down and see how much is profit. Well... You know, I took a, I started doing eBay way back when, when people would mail you cash. Yep, people actually mailed you cash, and then you mailed them your stuff. And they'd mail checks, too, and you'd put those in the bank and wait for them to clear, and then you'd mail them their stuff. Wild West of eBay. Um, and then I took a long break, and then I started doing it full-time, which that doesn't mean, when I hear full-time, Full-time can have a lot of different meanings. Full-time for me is, it's my main occupation, but it, it doesn't mean that I think I could make a living on what I am doing now, unless I own my own house and lived in a very low cost of living area, but even then, well, you could do that, yeah. Um, but full-time might mean to some people that it would replace like the full-time breadwinning, uh, bread uh, winner's job at home. Like my husband makes a lot more money than I do, and that's what pays the bills mostly. I mean, this helps, of course, but um, anyway, so I'm getting off on a tangent. So I started full-time about six years ago, and I think this was one of the very first things I listed back then. It's a pair of Tom's Women's Brown Canvas peep toe espadrille wedge heels shoes size 10 and i was revising some of my items from back then and these finally sold so i'm very happy about that because um sorry my cat is bingley is getting into something hold on Ugh. come on you don't need to be there oh here all right, I'm coming. Sorry. Sorry. <sighs> Being late. So anyways, I am glad that my strategy is working of lowering prices. And I just wanted to maybe break even on these. And I think I did. I sold them for 18 And I made about 3 no, $4 on those. So that's good. And I sold this pair of Southern Tide men's swim trunks, skipjack, pink, white, seersucker shorts, extra large. So lots of good stuff going for them. The seersucker is kind of this bumpy, striped uh, material. And blues and pinks are very popular. There it is, blue there. So you can walk through the shorts aisles and stuff and just and pants too, seersucker pants. And you can see them easily if you can get them at the right price. I sold these for, I think I just somehow got rid of my, oh, there it is. $20 and made $8 on those. I'm not set up very well here, am I? All right, I got to get a little more organized. I sold this Trains magazine from March 1962 for $9.00. And I made three dollars on that. We bought like seven, eight hundred of these for like twenty dollars or something like that. And they have slowly and quickly for a while there in the beginning when I first listed them, and they sold like crazy. It's kind of a thing when you have big groups of stuff like magazines, you know, like all the good ones are are. are sold very fast and then these ones kind of trickle in sales i still have about half of them maybe i don't know um so sold for nine i'll make three dollars on that probably wouldn't do much of that anymore it's a lot of work but it's all right it's a good kind of there's a lot of people who collect that kind of stuff this is a polo ralph lauren 4X, men's big stripes, salmon, short sleeve, golf, pony. It's 
got the pony there. So um, that sold for 27 and I made 12. That size was very good on that. And these I just listed and they have a flaw of the, this is kind of coming off at the back. This is a pair of 34 Heritage, which I'd never heard of before. Size is 4232. Charisma Comfort Rise, straight, classy, classic navy denim jean. They're also very stretchy. I should have put stretch in there. But didn't need to. They sold for 36, and I'll probably make 16 on that. So I made a total of 110 gross and 43 net. Well, this year I've made 5,386 gross, 2,819 net. Yeah, so back to full time. <laughs> um, if I worked longer days, I could probably do double, but I don't want to and I don't need to. But uh, I'm not going to lie. I think it's, it, you got to work pretty hard and know what you're doing to make a full time living at, at it um, in most areas probably. If you live in a low cost of living area, you could probably be frugal and do it, depending on your situation. But, um, I mean, yeah, you sure could. Um, but, you know, there's costs like health insurance and stuff for everybody. So, uh, and sometimes you'll see resellers who say they're making, and they are making, you know, like four or five thousand a week. There are not a lot of them, I think, who can do that just by themselves. I. That would be, you would have to have some kind of pretty good supply, I think, going on there. But I'm not saying it can't be done, depending on where you are and your connections. I've got to find a better Goodwill. These Goodwill's prices are just killing me. I went to one yesterday uh, that... And I just had a 20% off sale because when you drop stuff off here, you get a coupon for 20% off. So <coughs> I usually buy there, try to buy there just on Senior Citizen Day. But since my daughter's helping me list, I need to get more product in. And um, that's another thing. When you have somebody work for you, you've got to get more product in. So spending more money, you know, but at the same time having to be very careful that I make sure I am making back what I'm paying her. And uh, she can do about 15 sets of photos for per hour. So I'm paying her $15 an hour. So, uh, you know, but that's just one or two good sales. So if she's listing five and one sells, the rest is then profit. So anyways, it's the way I look at it. But uh, I want to tell you about what I got last night. Oh, here, look at this. What is this? What do you want? What do you want? Hmm? You want something? Okay, I gotta give her a treat. Hold on. Oh. Well, I'm gonna put this back and then I'll give her a treat. I can't say no. Okay, there you go. And she knows it. I'm so well trained. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she knows my routine. Like if if I leave the house, if I come back inside, she gets a treat. Mm -hmm. And if I forget, she will follow me around and look at me with those eyes and paw at me and be like, you forgot, you forgot, you forgot the drill. So <laughs> down here, she just expects it to be nonstop. I do tell her after too many treats to um, to uh, just look at my stuff here. Sorry. Uh, to go lie down. Okay, let's see. Some things I got yesterday at high prices. This I paid whew, it's $9. Okay, and I'm getting 20% off plus I had a few extra bonus bucks. Let's say I got 25% off. So that would be six dollars and some change maybe for this so it's a j crew 
good solid brand and it's a polo rugby shirt and um i looked them up and i don't remember exactly what i can get for it but it must have been enough to make me want to want to get it maybe 25 if i remember correctly plus shipping so these are easy to spot um, I got it because of the, you know, the size, as we can see, is extra large, tall. So that has something going for it. And, yeah, I mean, I might walk away with ten, eight to ten dollars on this, but it had a good sell-through rate. So I got it. Um, let me move some of this stuff. Okay, this is just a plain t-shirt, and they wanted only two dollars and 49 cents so i ended up paying about a dollar fifty for this and it's unique low 3xl new with tags and on the tags it goes for 1990 so it's just a black t-shirt but new with tags and very cheap and i probably can get about 15 dollars plus shipping for that a really good size something i've never seen before i have heard of this brand it's dolce and gabbana these are a pair of jeans. I just noticed this is coming off and I was being really good about that. But I think that's okay because I think these are vintage and I paid, he wanted $11 for them. They're 2XL and a lot of the Dolce Gabbana was going for big money. I'm not sure what I can get for these, but I'm pretty sure I can get maybe, and they're, they're a good size. They're made in Italy. It size, says size 54, but I think that that's like probably about a 36 maybe or something. And I, the only thing about them that I, they do have is kind of some wear on the cuffs. But I thought I would, the pickings were honestly so slow. Do you ever do that? Do you just kind of buy because you're like, I got to get something. I'll take a chance. So I thought I would take a chance on these. I don't know get anywhere from honestly 30 to probably I think I'll put them on auction to start honestly I think I'll put them on like $29.99 to start auction and then if they are worth something they'll get bid up or get sold for $29.99 which is fine what did I say I paid no so I paid $11, so 25% off that, so I paid like $8 maybe, and uh, $29.99, that would be okay. Hopefully more. Maybe I'll make them $39.99. Here's a pattern to look for. This is called Madras. It's this kind of patched cotton pants, shirts, suit coats, lots of things are Madras. 3430 J. Crew, 2% cotton. And uh, these kind of pants have a good sell-through rate. I, any kind of madras, not just J. Crew. Golf, this would be good for golf. Maybe get about 25 to 35 plus shipping. Here's a brand I never heard of before. Philip Venet. And when I first saw this, I thought, oh, that's cute little shamrock shirt, green for St. Patrick's Day, which is coming up. But I'm not 100% sure these are shamrocks they have kind of little ridges like a and they got five leaves i don't know but they look like it from afar so and it's green so it still can be for saint patrick's day and man philip venet some of the stuff was going for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars i don't think this shirt will but it i might have to put it on auction I have to do more research. It's Philip Venet for Lady Parkley, Paris, New York. Size 14. It's definitely vintage. It looks like a like a smaller size. And some of your vintage sizes, keep that in mind, um, are a lot smaller. Like a 14 is maybe a 12 now or a 10. I don't even know. So we'll see. I don't know. Unknown. What did I pay for this? I think I didn't pay much. Paid about they wanted five dollars and nine cents and I paid about so I paid about three three fifty. That's what you gotta do these days at the Goodwills. You have to it seems like the ones that you find that are really great deals are unknowns that they don't know about. 
yet. Here's Lane Bryant, which I just started picking up, and I picked this up. This was five oh nine, so it's probably about three fifty. It's got hummingbirds on it, so I just thought it's kind of a very lightweight, almost a semi sheer. Um, and this particular shirt had a good sell through rate. Just looking at the armpits, might look a little bit faded. No, I think it's okay. No, it's fine. Um, the pri price was good, about three fifty, and the size fourteen sixteen, maybe fifteen or twenty plus shipping. And here is another. Uh, here's a seersucker that I bought. Talking about speaking of the seersucker, four forty nine. So I paid about three dollars maybe, and a. Yeah, they got the button. I checked. I was really checking things. And I asked the guy, I never asked, what's your return policy? It can return everything in seven days. So I don't know what I'm... I'm just going to return things from now on if they are flawed. Done. Problem solved. Another problem solved. Uh, these were four forty nine. It says women's shorts, but I think they're men's. There are 34, and the button is on the left side so um these are men's and i maybe get 25 20 30 seersucker pants this is a nice the style is called fair isle which is very popular and that's why i bought it that in the size 3x talbot's is good solid brand talbot's woman and they these um but if you just put in 3x Fair Isle sweater, you'll see that there's a very good sell-through rate for 3X Fair Isle sweaters. This one isn't wool. I don't think it might be a wool blend. Oh, no, it is. It's a 30% lamb's wool, 70% nylon, so it's a lamb's wool blend. So that's good. That will add value. And what did I pay for that? About uh, $7. They added 9 so... 25% off, 725. This is one that I just saw and I just had a hunch. I've been, it's just this sweatshirt with this little farm scene. The brand is Gopher, which I've never heard of. Gopher Sport, size large. This actual one with this scene has a good sell-through rate. An option, I'll probably get about $30 for that. I paid, they wanted $5.99. So <clears throat> they paid about Four dollars, four fifty, something like that. And I think that is it from my haul yesterday. Did not have much. Today I'm going to go to a place nearby called Savage Mill. It's in Savage, Maryland, and there's a shop there called Charity's Closet, and you can shop there. And it's very, very inexpensive name mall brand clothing. But they also have, like, <clears throat> a shop that they sell all the really good stuff, uh, like, you know, your Burberries and stuff. And that you got to pay a premium for, but still a very good deal. But I've never found anything there with enough uh, meat on the bone, so to speak, to resell it. I think I tried something once, but I'm not sure I made very much money on it. But they their, their prices are, are uh, $5 each or five for twenty dollars so if you buy five <coughs> they're four dollars they would be four dollars each and i always find five and then once a year once or twice a year they have a big sale where it's like uh three for five or something like that very good price so i'm going to go there and see if i can find some stuff today my husband's going to go with me they have a very nice french pastry place so we will be visiting there and uh, it's a really nice mall. It's like a old mill, and it's got all these. It's got antique stores, which we'll visit too. And it's just a very nice type place to go uh, when it's cold outside, and it's just very, very beautiful. All right, have a great day.